we're going to look at some word problems involving fractions. The first one reads as follows. Sandili ran six and a quarter kilometers. Tim ran five and one six kilometers. How much further did Sandile run than Tim? Now, when we have a word problem, the very first thing we need to do is make sure we really understand what the story is about. So, picture. Sandile takes a run. He runs a certain distance, six and a quarter kilometers. Tim also runs but he only runs five and one sixth kilometer. And what we're wanting to know is how much further did Sandile go than Tim? So if we draw that as a picture, we'll get the following. I make this bar here to represent Sandile doing the little longer run of six and a quarter kilometers. And this bar here to represent Tim's run of five and one sixth kilometer. And now the question really is asking me, how much further did Sandile go? And I can see by looking at my picture that what I've really got to do is work out the difference between six and a quarter and five and one sixth. In other words, I've got to say six and a quarter minus five and one sixth. Now, We've discussed that one of the easiest ways, the ways that make sure we don't make mistakes and um, to do subtraction when we have got mixed numbers is to turn them into improper fractions. So let's do that. Six and a quarter. This is six times four is 24 plus one is 25. So we have 25 over four and then five and one six. Five times six is 30 plus one is 31. So we have 31 over six. Now we're in the situation where we have two fractions we've got to subtract. Well, but we've got careful, we have different denominators, right? This is in quarters, this is in six. So we need to find a common denominator. To do that, we look for the lowest common denominator by looking at the multiples of 4. So those are 4, 8, 12, 16, etc. And of 6, it's 6, 12. Ah, I can stop. I immediately see I, my lowest common multiple of those two is 12. So I'm going to use that. And I will get here. I need to go over 12 over 12. Again, I just look at what have I done. I've multiplied by 3, so I have to do exactly the same to the top, and 25 times 3 is 75. Here, to get to 12, I multiplied by 2, so I've got to do exactly the same to the top, and that will give me 62. 75 minus 62 is going to be 13, so we've got 13 over 12, which is 1 and 1 12th. And in this case, we were talking about kilometers. Now we just need to quickly check that, we've, that we are making sense with our answer. So does it make sense? This is about just a bit more than 6 kilometers. This is just a little bit more than 5 kilometers. And we want to know how much further... We were expecting an answer of roundabout one kilometer. So, yes, this is a sensible answer to the question. Let's have a look at another problem. Loyanda studied five twelfths of the work for her natural science exam on Saturday and a further one third of the work on Sunday. Has she finished studying for the exam? What fraction of the work for her natural science exam does she still need to study? So again, we've got to first of all just picture this. She's busy studying. On the one day, she does a certain portion of it. And then the next day, she does more. In other words, she adds on to what she'd done. And we want to know, has she finished the whole lot? So when I draw my picture for this one, this is how I'm going to do it. The question that they're asking me, the first bit, is really to say, does she get to having done all the work, one whole lot of the work for her natural science exam. On Saturday, she's done a piece of that, five twelfths of it. 
And then she does a further one third on Sunday. Now the question they're asking us is, if we put together the five twelfths she did on Saturday and the one third that she did on Sunday, put those two together, does it total to one whole, the whole? The only way we can check that is by actually doing the addition. So we've got to do five twelfths plus one third. That should be an easy one by now. We need to find a common denominator. We need to write one third as something over 12. Um, and that should be easy for you now. It's four twelfths. Five twelfths plus four twelfths is nine twelfths. But that's not in its simplest form. And we always like to write our fractions in their simplest form. We can divide top and bottom of this fraction by three. And that will give us three quarters. Okay, now we've got to think about what does that answer mean? Well, we've said if we do five twelfths, and we do one third, together we will have done three quarters of the work. So she will have done three quarters of the work. So that clearly tells us she is not finished. She hasn't done everything. She has only done three quarters of what she needs to do. How much more does she need to study? Well, think about it. If she's done three quarters and she needs to get to one whole, she still needs to study one quarter of the work.